That's right. Now it's one year later from here. And we're in jail. Yeah, because apparently crime does not pay. No, there actually is no music in this particular part, so is that like it's KR or anything? Well, all we can do now is just walk around for a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I should at least stay on the bed. I'm not going to sit on the toilet and contemplate my thoughts. I'm not the thinker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I kind of wish I actually was able to play that part, but... Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Of course, if you played through the good guy and then you know why she did it, more or less. Uh, well, I don't even get shoes. Hey, Bertram Hot. Huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Huh. Huh. <laughs> well, I didn't have that much... Wait. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I only had to, like, what, spin... Maybe... Okay, don't make... Yeah, whatever. I don't know why the world revolves around her and her emotions, but whatever. Uh, I find it funny is that, well, I only end up paying, what, 500? That's like paying, that's like pretty much, pretty much if Al Capone only had to pay $538 and like six months in jail. Seriously, that's, that's just what happened here. I was the commander of pretty much like the biggest terrorist organization on this continent and I just got six months in jail. And half my money taken away. And I'm still wearing my prison garb. So I think it looks like I just escaped. And pretty much... Yeah, they let me out. I like how everyone treats me like, eh. Yeah, see? Savory state music overseas. And... Let's go down to the old hideout. Hey! Bartender. And of course, if you at, tell him if he's calm free, he'll just say, oh no. And of course, since we were since we were in Bloody Mantis, all we can do is just buy the poster. But we can also buy the civilian plate. So if you went to the bad guy, uh, the villains, you just get it for 300. But you can still obtain the civilian blight. And, uh. Let's see. If we go. This way, yeah. Wait. Yeah. This is the direction. Because we're going to go to the South Happy Garland. Because, um. Walking around here kind of sucks. So. We'll go around here. And what's that in the distance I see in the junk pile? That's right. Our old ride. Because apparently, um, no one took it apart for, took it apart for parts. That's good. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, it's not a new rider. It's the old rider. right and have everything that we had on it and we much have all our pieces and then we just exit the junkyard I think I'm pretty sure that bell is ringing because of like plot reasons right here but now that we've got our trot we'll go back I think it's time for 
some little bit of journey. I'm pretty much uh, let's time to film and of course get some get our old clothes back on. Of course I kept the uh, gloves from the Blade Mantis since I like those. Yeah, let's ask uh, about Kai. And pretty much it's the uh, same way, it's the same journey as do the good guys. So you just you go to Yurika, she'll say that she's there, but you know, and we end up fighting Kai. But now I want to show off a couple of things. One, we're back at Mean Village. Uh, and we're at the mayor's place. And you know, his stuff is in brick while everybody else is in wood. And now he's going to tell us how um, they got rich. It wasn't just the railroad, it was they had truffles too. Uh, but we're gonna, I'm going to show off some of the uh, other instruments that I didn't get a chance to show off. So, uh, with a performance. Also, uh, I also gave Connie the pink dress from uh, Neffeberg. And she'll be wearing that during this concert. And no, you don't get a replacement for Savory. So, as you see, I have all the instruments. So let's show off the other ones. Down by gravity, the weight of a thousand bricks on your shoulders. It goes right through you, your flesh and bones cannot carry the weight. You can no longer stand it. Hold on to some. 
something strong before you press down by a thousand bricks every brick the weight of anxiety why don't you shout it out shout your organs out just shout And now I'm the leader of the Votriers. I also like during the uh, Thousand Breaks that since Savory is not there, you don't get the accompanying voice during the uh, just shout out part. Nice little detail. So with that out of the way. Um, I forgot to tell you that we're now going back to the good guy post game. Uh, and of course, now also in the post game, we also get to see what Mal is doing. And we get his side of this particular story. Well, of his reason why he left. Well, you kind of did. Well, yeah, but he didn't have natural talent. <laughs> Why not, right? I know, right? Was it, or are you just drinking the haterade? Well, at least you understand that bit. Yeah. Oh, you need to start. Yeah. Huh. And now every piece is together. Yeah, definitely, since you were technically the cause of uh, organization that nearly destroyed the entire continent. And one last thing we're going to do for this uh, post game. Well, not for the post game, but for this video. Tell us something off that you could have gotten way back there at the beginning. And you can get this book, The Stock 101. 
Uh, since I don't really mess around with the stock market in this game because there are a lot easier ways to get money. Um, well, this was for this video, and I also get the portfolio. So next time, more post game. See you then.